Swimming through the void. This will be a general message today for the sign of Libra, wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart. And keep in mind, we all have a seventh house as part of our birth chart. And time and energy are fluid, so take what resonates here today, leave the rest for someone else. And these readings are timeless as well. So whenever you stumble across this message, whenever this message finds you, Libra, Libra placements, <clears throat> there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity and confirmation, to help empower you, to help you align to your highest timeline, tapping into your energy today. I use this um, Keepers of the Light Oracle deck along with this faceted uh, Garden Oracle deck just to help catch the vibe, see what spirit's trying to bring through. And Libra, very beautiful energy coming through here for you today. It seems like you are, uh, it's almost like a, a new world is being born. You're being born into a new world here. Run through these cards and then we'll break it down. We have animal allies coming through first and foremost. And this card just says to me that Libra, <clears throat> you're seeing the signs and synchronicities. Um, animals crossing your path right now letting you know that this is the dawn of a new day right we have this ram energy this aries energy coming through it is aries season we have the birth card right this springtime energy coming we have gemstones and we have light when these two cards came out i actually saw the light shining through like a diamond <clears throat> and just being like split every way so also bottom of the deck as well we have the gate card big 11 11 energy so it feels like letting your own multifaceted nature shine right stepping into this energy this new chapter libra where you are shining your light authentically unapologetically right and it's like this gemstones energy is the energy of being formed being refined right if you think about how diamonds and crystals are made it's deep underground under immense pressure right and so i feel like what you've been through this is the energy of like what i've been through made me right and here we are um being reborn into this higher timeline into this beautiful light keepers of the light cards here bottom of the deck we have charity with prayer and contemplation prayer and contemplation it says connect with heaven ask and you shall receive that's been a message coming through for the whole collective um basically being mindful of where our mind is at during this transition so we have lord krishna coming through with devotion it says trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized and you are loved unconditionally we had have lord shiva with transcendence here rise up honor your inner force steps are being given dance with the universe and we have lady portia coming through last but not least with divine order and this says do what you feel is right an important lesson is unfolding so maybe some of you seeing 11 11 as you're stepping through this portal through this sacred doorway um it feels like libra is getting guidance you are seeing the signs and the synchronicities you are um in communication with the divine at this time and it feels like with this divine order do what you feel is right an important lesson is unfolding i feel like the intuitive guidance is coming through loud and clear as well we all do have free will so very exciting energy um, we did have the Empress on the bottom of the tarot deck here, which is Libra energy, which is your energy. So we're actually going to start with this double major, though. Grab a theme. Wow, Emperor, Empress, Aries, um, Libra energy coming through. A lot of Aries energy out here, actually. So I'm going to pray real quick. Libra, Libra placements, and then we'll dive into this message. Spirit. 
spirit guides, guardian angels, archangels, ancestors, messages for Libra today for their highest good. Anything Libra needs to hear or know, any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower Libra, any messages that will bring healing, wisdom, understanding, and any messages that will help Libra align with their highest selves, their highest timelines, their best lives. Of course, above all of that, any messages that will help my Libras align with the highest divine will <clears throat> will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory. A lot of Queen of Swords wanting to show show up. All right, World Queen of Swords. So what's the theme of Libra's message today, please, Spirit? Queen of Swords does feel like there's maybe a uh, an important decision at this time. Justice, right? Page of Pentacles. Actually, it's the Hierophant card. Some of you may be dealing with... Um, a lot of this hierophant energy coming through lately some of you may be dealing with family family stuff religious stuff business stuff right hierophant higher level stuff deeper commitments um, marriages in some cases with the lovers being on the bottom here yep relationships so let's see what we have we have this new chapter this new opportunity this page of pentacles right is collective taking this new opportunity and moving forward with it um, committing to this new world so let's jump into the tarot see what comes through for you libra what is the message for for Libra today, please, Spirit, what's Libra's energy here at the heart of the situation? Wow. <clears throat> it does look like you are very focused on yourself, your intuition, taking action from that space. You guys, we have the king of wands the king of cups nine of cups with the six of pentacles five of pentacles it's like any of this five of pentacles energy this lonely um lacking um you know energy here you're, you're pulling your energy from any type of five of pentacles energy here you're taking this key and you're getting through this door to your ten of pentacles you're pouring into what makes you happy you are pouring into um, where you're being intuitively guided or taking action toward that at least seven of pentacles on the bottom it looks like libra something is coming to fruition for you as you step through this gate whether this is a project whether this is some type of manifestation or relationship it's like you're moving towards something here some seeds have been planted family and we're well on our way so what is the challenge right now for libra what energies are crossing, Libra? This Aries, Libra. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries or this Aries season is just coming through kind of catalyzing this shift. I mean, we have the, the, the crossing energies, the Fool, Justice, the Magician, Three of Swords, Four of Wands. It's like clearing this past hurt, this past pain, this past trauma, heartbreak. You know, karmic balance coming through and the slate being wiped clean in order for Libra to magician create this new world. So very much an energy of being between worlds especially with three majors coming through as the crossing energies it's like this is a huge pivot point for libra this is a, a huge shift um and with the south node being in the sign of libra it is a lot of karmic contracts a lot of karmic relationships business partnerships um karmic situations period kind of being resolved in order to bring us into this new energy in order to free us from energies that have held us back from people that have held us back um internal energies like self-limiting beliefs um this is really a time of dreaming big libra we've been getting this 
um, page of cups, knight of cups energy coming through. And it's really been in, you can see in this depiction of the card, he's like got the dream partner. We have the pig flying. So it's like nothing is impossible at this time. This is where the divine is really asking us to dream outside of our dream beyond our perceived limitations this nine of pentacles energy coming in like where attention goes energy flows wherever we put our energy right now um is very important it's very powerful we have the star the hermit temperance this is patience as we align with this new energy with this manifestation and doing what we have to do queen of swords uh, making the decisions and taking the actions that we're being guided to through uh, the divine or our higher selves in order to get there, right? Queen of Swords. So what's incoming for Libra here? For I'm seeing very prominently here um, relationship dynamics. Probably for the majority of the collective when it comes to like romantic relationships. And this is where that is wrapping up that dynamic right it's like we understand it now we've integrated the wisdom and we move into this clean slate this new energy these new dynamics so what's incoming <clears throat> for libra star knight of swords eight of pentacles four of wands to me the four of wands here just like this gate right we have this 11 11 energy just like here with the, the four posts we have this energy of coming into union with something right so whether this is a person whether this is a business or a manifestation it's like this is where you're truly aligning with that and stepping through that portal eight of pentacles very focused libra on whatever it is you're building here i always say when this card comes through if there's a class you've been wanting to take a book you've been wanting to read a certification you need to get some research whatever whatever it is that's kind of like adding value to you or your craft the eight of pentacles to me is a card of mastering your craft and being very focused on building whatever it is you are building so with the star, this is also a card of healing. <clears throat> Coming back into union with yourself after experiencing tower moments and things breaking down, right? So what's the advice for Libra? Connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. As soon as I ask that spirit. Your psychic, your intuition, your psychic gifts and abilities seem to be amplified at this time. At least that's how it's showing here. What is the advice for Libra? <clears throat> Ace of Cups. Can't see the other two. Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords. It's about leaving this old life behind, this old chapter. Trying not to see the past with rose-colored glasses. Surrendering to this healing journey. I'm literally hearing surrendering to the healing journey. There's this energy of like this deep awakening process that's happening. There's this energy for Libra of like things clicking. When things click, there's a decision that Libra's like, okay, you know what? I'm going for it. I'm doing me or yeah, you know, I've I've waited long enough. It's that type of energy where there's been like a decision that maybe hasn't been made for quite some time. This is feeling like this is where Queen of Wands, right? Libra just says, you know what? I have to do what's best for me or I'm going to go for it or I'm going to do it or I'm going to put it out there or whatever it may be. Some type of kind of maybe perceived risk energy coming through where you're just really betting on yourself. Your advice, though, is to continue your healing journey to take this as an opportunity to move into new dynamics it's a very slow energy here in your advice where four of swords is the divine's way of basically saying to slow it down to stay present um to be here ten of swords ace of cups though is leaving a very painful past behind queen of cups is not only healing that but also um 
it's a card of emotional maturity. It's a card of intuition and, and, you know, following that, following your heart, following your bliss and making decisions that reflect your self love, the love for yourself. So it's like making decisions from a place of self love rather than making them from a place of like fear, insecurity, lack, right? What's the advice for Libra? Nine of Pentacles, to stand in your power and to get off the tree, right? To, to put one foot in front of the other and not to stress. Um, or let the past keep you up nights or, or anything like that. Spirit saying Libra has come so far, right? You truly have come so far. You're moving from a different space now, Libra. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Empress. This is a slower moving energy, but it is forward movement. The steps are sure. Right? And so very much Libra advice is to stay focused forward, to continue plant. It's a very, very fertile grounds right now to plant seeds and you know i've been saying that to the whole collective i'm like as we cross this abyss as we're clearing these deep you know contracts and energies and traumas and all of this through these eclipses um in the midst of that it's very potent time for manifestation for putting your prayers out right and for opening up to work in tandem with the universe the divine god um, your soul, your spirit to build what it came here to build. This is big time Phoenix rising from the ashes energy, eight of cups to the 10 of cups, eight of cups, death, rebirth, 10 of cups. It's like this release and you shall receive type energy. All right. So let's grab some Oracle cards for Libra. <clears throat> With the South Node being in Libra, this this is like perfectly aligned with, I feel like there's major, major karmic contracts being cleared and energies. Um, so whether this is a specific person or just an overall dynamic, an internal thing, um, this is a huge, huge shift for Libra. What's the message for Libra? What's the message? Herald of change. What's the damn? A lot wants to come through. Empty well. Kind of like that Four of Swords energy. Recharge to or retreat to recharge and replenish. This is the energy though. We have Sky Dancers on the bottom. Surrender. And we have the crossing. So what does this card say to you, Libra? If this was the only message that came through for you in your reading today. What would this card be saying to you? Drop it down in the comments. Let me know what downloads you get. What feelings? What do you feel psychically? What do you feel emotionally when you see this? It's number 54, right? Which is a nine in numerology. Nines represent endings. It represents reaching the end of a road, the end of a cycle. And with this empty well um, and the four of swords, definitely self-love, self-care, empress energy staying hydrated getting enough sleep getting enough rest at this time let's read this <clears throat> it says rite of passage and initiation you have come to stand on one side of a river the opposite bank leads into the darkness of the eternal cave where the old dies and then is born again this is a place where time is forgotten and the seasons cease their dance and stand still as if in a temporary repose you must cross the river now honoring and respecting this transition for it's time to say goodbye to your old ways of navigating the world <clears throat> do not be afraid you've come to the edge of the river because you're ready you're ready to let go of that which does not serve you and all the ways in which you've kept yourself from truly living. Intimacy requires vulnerability and truth. Can you strip away the masks and the barriers of false strength to discover what you're really made of? And that was kind of what I was seeing with that gemstones as well. I, I was feeling or hearing 
um, the bare essence. Like when I saw the light shining through, the light was the bare essence, the authentic essence. So there's a big message of really honoring your authenticity coming through as well, um, Libra. <clears throat> it says, step in the boat waiting for you. Let it carry you into the cave where the shadows are waiting to be illuminated so you can be born again into the world without denial or artifice. Making the crossing is a beautiful, powerful act of the highest love. And you literally got this birth card out here as well. Overwhelm and plenty. Feast of plenty. Overwhelm and plenty with the overflow. The feast of plenty. It's like there's so much waiting for you on the other side of this portal. We have this lotus energy seeds. Wow, you guys. Let's grab one from this white light oracle as well. Where are we at on time? We're doing all right. Tantra of 639 hertz, heart chakra energy, <clears throat> heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye, um, maybe connecting with 639 hertz and the corresponding energy centers um, as well. One of the first messages that came through for you today was Lord Krishna and Lord Shiva coming through. Um, so for some of you, Maybe you've been getting into bhakti yoga or tantra or any type of yoga. Maybe you've been getting deeper into your sadhana, your spiritual practice. Um, this is only a message for those that feel guided, but maybe working with Shiva mantras or um, sadhana um, or Krishna as well may be beneficial for you at this time if it's something you've been feeling then definitely take it as a confirmation for you but we have lord shiva and lord krishna and both cards have like this emphasis on the third eye space as well as all of this kind of intuitive energy coming through for you as well so maybe you're connecting with new guides new practices new deities um Maybe you're just really honing in on your inner vision, your your third eye, just opening wide and you seeing things for what they are and adjusting to that. So what's the message for Libra, please, spirit? What's the message for Libra? Salve Paluti 741 Hertz. That's what I think we're going to read here. Number 19, which is a 10. Lots of nines and tens out here. As I say that, nine of pence, ten of swords, right? Let's read this card. 741 Hertz as well. I do believe that is a detoxification frequency. Tune into your heart and you will be able to find your way through any negative or toxic situation. Engage in self-healing and space clearing. Commit to regular practices that help you connect to your inner light and your light shall not be overcome by any darkness or negativity. Take time to clean your heart and mind of negativity by focusing on the divine beings that bring your heart joy. It's appropriate for you to desire your own personal and sacred space and access it daily we live in an age of heightened environmental emotional and spiritual pollution during such a world age it takes m much more to experience clarity purity and originality often the bulk of our challenge is simply warding off further negative influences and attempting to dislodge the toxins permeating our energy field psychologically physically and emotionally the onslaught continues with chemical toxins in foods, polluted oceans, which contaminate sea life, and the bombardment of electromagnetic radiation. When technological development lacks uh, commensurate wisdom, such as the current case, progress contains a shadow side of harm to our planet and her creatures, including us humans. <clears throat> 
Higher beings are lovingly and faithfully working to assist souls in their transition from fear to a loved-based inner orientation and to become strong enough to ward off further negative influence and reverse the toxic culture within themselves and our world. A shift is available for hearts willing to exchange the constant battle with relentless negativity for being a source of light, love, and peaceful abiding on this planet. When these hearts reside in an inner place of purity, they're able to bring unconditional Conditional love and spacious primordial wisdom into the world for the spiritual benefit of all beings. With their positive enthusiasm for the healing for all beings, they can do so much good in the world. To be around such hearts instills peace, relaxation, hopefulness, and vitality within the soul. The frequency of 741 hertz cleans things up. Solve polluti is a Latin expression which means to clear pollutants and toxins. This frequency focuses on clearing, freeing the hold of negativity, and allowing the natural way of bright, beautiful manifestation to unfold. This frequency works to clear infections and electromagnetic radiation from the body. It also attunes one to the harmonics of the quantum field, the reorganizing principle of the highest self, which knows what you are and how to dislodge and disengage from that which is inauthentic and obstructive to your radiant being. When this oracle appears in a reading, it's a call to clear yourself and your space in ways that you feel, in ways that feel affirming, inspiring, and beautiful to you. Trust that no matter how much gunk the ego-driven actions of humans might generate, it's no match for the power of spirit at play in willing human hearts. May all such hearts join with spirit and with each other to clear and bless all creatures for the greatest good so yeah connect just like we were literally just saying connecting with your spiritual practice whether it's through christ whether it's through krishna uh, whatever your thing is period um, we don't discriminate over here connecting with that um, connecting with that light <clears throat> right now during this kind of transition phase we're going to run through this healing process really quick it says bring your awareness to the present moment as you ground yourself by feeling your feet connecting to the earth let there be a feeling of pleasant heaviness as your feet pull the energy down from your heart and toward the earth. It is as if the feet can discharge unwanted energies, which the Mother Earth, with her alchemical skill of transmutation, can utilize as fertilizer for new life. Place a hand over your heart. Feel your connection with yourself, with the light within, with the spiritual vastness that is um, the light within your heart and then see imagine feel or intend that the heart connection to the spiritual light is becoming stronger and more powerful as you gently tune your awareness into it if you can relax and allow it that intelligent inner light will begin to clear cleanse heal renew and protect you from within your cells it'll move out into all aspects of your life you may feel this at a subtle level, but even if you feel nothing, you can trust that it's happening anyway. You can further empower your process with this prayer. I call upon the pure white light for cleansing, realignment, renewal, and protection now. May I be protected from all negativities, purged from all malignant energies, and held in the sanctity of the light in all dimensions of my being. I shed and release that which obstructs my luminous and true nature through divine mercy and grace for the spiritual benefit of all beings. And so it is. When you're ready, ground yourself and hydrate well. You've completed this healing process. Libra, there's so much here. There really is so much here. And we're really at such a massive pivot point um, right now. I think overall... The message that I see most prominently here is all about self-love. It's all about honoring your heart space, your spirit, your soul, right? It's all about honoring your dharma, your path, your destiny. Um, and it's really seeming like if you can really buckle down and, and focus on you right now and cutting yourself free and eight of cups leaving the things that are not serving you behind, you are going to be liberated into this beautiful space of co-creation with the divine um i feel like this is really what we've been waiting for right i really feel like this is what we've been waiting for so um hopefully this message made sense to you hopefully it helped in some capacity i would still like to grab a moonology card and a message from the divine mother 
from this Kali Oracle as well before we tap out. Just want to say thank you for being in this space with me, with us. Thank you for stopping through and showing love. Libra, you are appreciated. What's the message for Libra? Nothing will come of this situation. When that card came out, I saw a flash of the five of pence and four of cups. So your commitment is being tested. Your loved ones are safe. Be bold. Make the first move. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in cap. New moon in cancer. So there's also, I've noticed, a lot of opposites kind of in this message. I saw a lot of Aries and Libra coming through together. So fight and then Capricorn and Cancer coming. So there's this <clears throat> also this energy showing up of like finding that balance, finding the middle ground, not going too far this way or that way. Um, so let's grab a message from Ma. Ma, what's the message for Libra, please? Thank you. Thank you. Kalika Tantrika and Mahakali. You can trust that what is happening in your life right now will give way to a new expression when the time is right. That right time will be the best time when your readiness matches the requirements for success. Attend to your work with determination and hope in your heart and trust that the divine is taking care of everything else. Your progress is spiritually protected. Then this Kalika Tantrika says Kali overcomes karma realigns us with our path when we veered off course and reverses the momentum of negativity and detaches draining energy energy cords restoring us to full vitality it may seem like your will is being thwarted or you're not getting what you want but the divine knows what they're doing kali's actions will benefit you trust it's exactly what it felt like through the challenge it's like this is definitely overcoming some type of karmic situations dynamics or relationships so again i hope this message has helped libra and thank you thank you thank you for being here thank you for your love and support before we tap out fully we're going to take a second to take a deep cleansing breath we're going to use our will our visualization our imagination to draw in this divine cosmic energy this prana Picture it as white or gold light filling your body, filling your aura as you inhale. Take the deepest breath in you can and pause. Hold the breath at the top, imagining yourself glowing brighter and brighter. And then as we release, we're going to exhale very forcefully, watching any negativity, any blockages, any lower frequencies, period, um, leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that. So first things first, Libra, let's take a deep, full breath out. You want to completely empty your lungs before you do this, and then we will get our breath in and glow about our day. Go ahead and breathe out. All the way out. Empty, 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 empty. Now breathe in. Hold it, squeeze, move a bundle, lift that energy up your spine, now pull it down, lock it into your heart space. Watch yourself glowing brighter and brighter. And release. Libra gang, gang, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thanks again for stopping through and showing love, man. I hope this message found everybody well and in great spirits. Hope y'all have a blessed rest of your day and I will catch you beautiful beings on the next reading.